the most northern body of land in the world. Seven-eighths of its terrain lies under a blanket of solid ice, and temperatures fall to 75 degrees below zero. Six months of the year, the sun shines continuously, but during the winter, the pure white snow is shrouded in darkness. Over 800 years ago, it was sighted by Eric the Red, an adventurous Viking explorer with perhaps a sense of humor. He named it Greenland. United States Army presents The Big Picture, an official report produced for the armed forces and the American people. Now to show you part of the big picture, here is Sergeant Stuart Queen. The lure of the unknown has never failed to whet man's desire for exploration. Ever since he realized the vastness of his surroundings, he has not been content while one corner of uncharted land confronted him. Today, with most of the world under his control or observation, he is turning his eyes to the mysteries of outer space. And yet, his nature will not allow him to neglect the remaining untouched areas of his own environment. For centuries, from Eric the Red to Robert Perry, the frozen regions of Greenland have stood as a challenge to man's ingenuity. In May of 1960, a special task force of the United States Army began a 65-day journey across the northern extremities of Greenland's ice cap. During that time, 